Hello from Eastern CCTV. In this video, we will be going over the alarm module for the Titanium series NVR. Under the alarm module, our first section is event notification. This is more of an advanced feature, but this allows us to modify the schedule of our alarm out. We can also test our alarm out to trigger the alarm. We can also modify the schedules that are pre-configured for 24-7, uh, weekdays, as well as weekends. Under email notifications, we can configure our email notification send and receive address. Here we can edit the sender and we can modify the information. Uh, we will have to specify the SMTP port, the SMTP server, and whether we want SSL enabled, and whether we want the DVR to attach a screenshot. We also have the option to display pop-up video and pop-up message boxes. This allows us to configure the time that they're active on the screen for. By default, we're set for 10 seconds. Our buzzer delay is actually our buzzer holding time, and this will give us the option to select how many seconds or minutes we want the buzzer to go off for. Under motion alarm, we can trigger motion to do different things. We can have it trigger an alarm out that's connected to the DVR. Again, that's for actual alarms, uh, chimes, etc. Under preset, we can actually configure a PTZ to call a preset. So for example, if motion was triggered on channel 3, we can have the camera look at that camera from a different angle. Here we also have our buzzer, our pop-up video and our email notification. Under sensor alarm we have a couple extra options. Uh, this would be if we integrated sensors to the DVR. For example, door strikes we can connect to the DVR and have them do different things. We can have them record on other cameras. We can have them trigger an alarm out. We can have them call a preset on a PTZ. And we also have the option again for buzzer, pop-up video, and pop-up message box which is going to tell us that the sensor or the alarm name was triggered and we also have the option for email notification. Under exception we have events that we can have the DVR do different things for. These are uh, mainly critical things such as IP address conflicts, uh, disk read write errors, disk full, um, hard drives dropping out, illegal access, or network disconnection. By default everything will buzz and everything will give us a pop-up message. We can also configure things to give us an email or to trigger an alarm out. Under IPC offline settings we can also have the DVR perform different functions when an IP camera is knocked off the network or disconnected or tampered with. Under alarm status, we're able to see more information on the alarms that are currently occurring. We have sensor one enabled to alarm right now, and we can see the alarm time that it occurred, the actions that it's taking. So in this case, we don't have anything configured, but we could trigger it to record, to go to an alarm out, to trigger a preset. We also have options for snap, video, email, trigger buzzer. Right now, we just have pop-up message enabled and we also have the option to clear right here. This was the alarm module for the Titanium Series NVR. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.